In this video, I'd like to introduce the concept of complex power and the application of the power triangle. So say we have like 120 volt RMS voltage, and that's like coming out of the wall. And we have some load that has capacitors, inductors, and resistors, and they all have some impedance Z. So we can get this thing called reactive power, average power, and adding those two in quadrature, you get apparent power. So apparent power is what you pay for. You're paying for the whole beer. Real power is what you get to use and reactive power is all the foam. And we can measure this with something called a power factor, which is cosine of the phase difference between voltage and current. And if it's closer to one, that's exactly what you want because you're getting uh, the same amount of power that you pay for that you get to actually use. So sometimes we'll do corrections and have, we'll add in capacitors to get reactive power to go down. Or, or if the triangle's like this, we can add in inductors to make the um, reactive power go up. So pretty neat stuff.